Take away the lights and the likes, all the apps and the sites, all the wrongs with your rights and the praise. Take away the clothes and the shows and the superficial goals and the weight of what your soul really weighs. Take away the memes and the streams, the machines, the regimes and the screens telling lies like the truth. Take away the greed and the need to impede and mislead and the end the only thing left is you. Take away the lights and the likes, all the apps and the sites, all the wrongs with your rights and the praise. All the lyrics were so true and pertain to everything that we're dealing with right now with this age of social media and how much it's truly taken over in the best ways. And this um, case, obviously, it's in the worst ways and worst ways that we do need to acknowledge. Um, I really liked the animation. Um, it went perfectly with the song, of course, but I also really liked how some of the animation was on the nose and some of it was very analytical in a way. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I loved when the timpani was playing and then there would be a timpani or when there was a string part and then a violin would be playing. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, I also really loved how the animations all morphed into each other. It was phenomenal to see. The coloring was great. Um, the pacing was great. Um, I just really, really enjoyed the idea and I thought it was a fantastic piece altogether. The message of this film um, really calls the audience to think about when social media is removed, what is left. And it reminds us to prioritize um, the real things, humanity and connection and um, not superficial things. Um, there is a very powerful line that says when all else is, or that essentially says when all else is removed, um, social media no longer exists or ceases to exist, then it is you who is left. It's reminding you to, um, to value your morals and connection rather than, um, anything that you see on the screen or, um, maybe news, which, you know, fake news, all of that is very relevant to society. Um, I thought technically the animation was very creative. I appreciated that. It felt like we went inside the street sign or the um, buying piece on the Amazon website. It, it all felt very relevant to our society. Um, symbols of things we would see in our everyday that we might not even notice, such as Amazon, we might not even notice um, how much it really is impacting our society. Um, and I thought the use of bright colors and primary colors was really great. It um, once again kind of conveyed that sense of urgency. Um, but then there were also bits of humor, which really helped keep the audience engaged. Right off the bat, I love the beat. I love the song and the lyrics really hit home. They were hard hitting, everything like it was just fun to listen to. Something that I was listening to on my own time, um, super catchy, and the animation was visually mesmerizing. Like there was an animation and a graphic for every single lyric um, in this song, so everything was just beat by beat um, caught by the animation, and it was just so fun to watch and fun to listen to. Um, and also, along with all that, there was a powerful message about unplugging from society and you know, learning to be real and not, you know, adhere to society's rules about fashion, about the way you look, about what you need to aspire to be, about what you should want, all of those things. Um, so I think the, the, the message behind this song was really cool. Talking about our capitalist nature, you know, it's saying, you know, let's get rid of the memes and the machines, the greed, all of these things that have... Um, in a sense, poisoned our society. We get, you know, a matching outlook of imagery when we hear these words come to light. There is a sense of free space here, of like white space, even though it's black. And um, I feel like it's really nice of that element to exist there because it really does have us focus on the animation that's happening before us. Um, it's definitely um, pointing to these notes of technology. This, you know, music video definitely points out, uh, you know, the man versus technology storytelling element um, that exists within this piece. And it's kind of, you know, 
convincing us to take a moment to step away and step back from that and kind of get back to reality a little bit is the point that I feel like this artist is trying to get across. Really catchy. I thought it was really, really upbeat. I thought it was really, really fun. Had like the, uh, had a fun beat, had fun music. Um, the kind of song that would get stuck in your head. But then the message behind the song I thought was really important about how, especially in current days, like society, so much of people's identity, especially young people, there's so much of kids' identity is get attached to their social medias. And it has a lot of great benefits and I'm not trying to take away from that, but it also has some very, very, very real drawbacks. And having your identity so linked to, or having your self-esteem so linked to this kind of very curated platforms, very like like-based, and if that's what you're getting your worth from, that can lead to some very, very serious problems. And so I loved the message behind the song. I love, I liked that the song was really catchy because when something's really catchy and it gets stuck in your head, then you learn the lyrics a lot faster and then you absorb the message a lot faster, whether you realize you're doing it or not. Um, so I think that it's, I thought this was great. I loved the animation. I, like I said, I really, really enjoyed this. I thought the message was great. It was on point. Really poignant. Um, I, it was very understandable. Um, it was kind of motivational. Um, I think it's an interesting take on, you know, viewing social media and viewing um, the way it impacts our lives. And I think this uh, rap does a really good job lyrically of addressing that, but then also pairing um, the visuals with it. I think it's a really great, well-rounded piece um, for a, a music video, and it came together very, very well. <laughs> I liked the rap lyrics great visuals i love the music and the pace um i wrote down sometimes you go crazy trying to stay sane i i wrote down the hope turns to nope <laughs> i thought that was good visual and you get taxed just to breathe air we just want to thrive in the end the only thing left is you like that a lot. Um, the song was very catchy. The lyrics were very understandable. You could understand them very well. And it was something I could just see going viral. I would like this a lot. Um, such a great message <laughs> to get out of the technology, get off of our phones, focus, be in the moment, be with the people we love and really appreciate those things take down the algorithms, you know, these social media sites and I don't know, just the whole thing was really well done. It was very catchy and I very much enjoyed the music. Um, the animation and the editing was also very on point. Um, it was edited to the beat, to the music, uh, which made it very snappy uh, and very engaging to watch. And for the message, um, kind of the social media culture we live in right now, when you're constantly looking at social media sites and you're seeing other people's success, other people's happiness, and you're comparing it to where you're at, uh, it creates this toxic cycle where everyone's trying to drag each other down in order to bring themselves to the top. Um, but in the process of removing yourself from that system, the only thing you're left with, like the song says, is you. Um, at that point, you can no longer compare or blame anything other than yourself on wherever you are in your life. Um, you can only work on yourself. You can only improve yourself. You can only see where you are in your life. 